Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am reviewing this product that I recently bought. I was very, very intrigued by it when I saw a couple of videos related to this product. And um, I did my research and I found one on Amazon and I purchased it. And I can't wait to show you how amazing it is. So what I'm reviewing today is this Epi Stick, which is basically supposed to be um, an amazing facial hair remover so generally i wouldn't say that you should go and remove your facial hair it's perfectly fine if you have facial hair we're all human we're supposed to have some amount of hair so there's nothing wrong with that but why i wanted to find um, a way of getting rid of like my peach fuzz is because it just makes makeup application so much easier it makes it so much easier to blend it into your skin and uh, it just looks better for uh, pictures so that is why I just wanted to find some kind of solution. I know some people tend to shave their faces but I'm not very comfortable with that idea because I just feel like I'll get coarse, thick hair and I don't want that. So I did my research on other methods of course there's waxing, there's threading. So I do threading for my upper lip and my eyebrows but I wanted to find something that you know uh, would help me get rid of this. This is the most like problem area for me and generally what I do is like I bleach my face but I don't like to do it that often because I have very delicate skin so I try to avoid it I'll do it maybe like once in three months or something which is fine again but I, I just feel like for clear smooth makeup application I just wanted to get rid of this it is perfectly fine if you have facial hair everyone does and if you want to keep it it's absolutely all right but i wanted to try something and um, i found this online and i thought why not so this epi stick um you may have seen it on social media it's been splashed across social media everywhere and uh, i've seen a couple of videos myself of people using this so um there are many mixed reviews that you will find online i myself when i went through amazon i found a lot of different views some people thought it was amazing, some people thought it was useless. So I wanted to try it, but I didn't want to like invest in something that would be too expensive. So there were a couple of websites selling it internationally, but I wasn't sure of that in case, you know, my experience of the product might not turn out to be that good. So I did my research and I found cheaper substitutes on Amazon and I realized like there's no big difference between the different products. It's just some have a brand name, some don't, but technically all of them are the same. They all basically have this spring, so you can see it's just a normal spring and it, this is basically just to hold, allows for um, easy use. So I uh, found this and um, this is a made in China product, so it's supposed to have the effect of threading. But I feel it's more useful than threading because it kind of removes the hair from the source. It pulls it out, extracts it. So unlike threading, which takes about two weeks for the hair to come back, this might take you about one to two months. I mean, again, depending on how your hair growth is, it's just a lot slower. So, I mean, I kid you not, I tried this and generally with my upper lip, when I go and thread it at the salon, it takes about... Um, 15 days to come back but this with this it took me like more than a month easily so i was quite happy with the result so anyway i'm going to show you how to use this so let's not waste any more time and get to it so first things first the price of this product is 260 rupees on top of that uh, there was 50 rupees of shipping and handling charges so came up to 310 and um, the company name this is new women it's a facial hair epilator epi stick so anyway i'm going to show you now how to use this so number one don't use this when your face is like greasy or oily you don't want to do that because it will really hurt you so what you need to do first is go wash your face and maybe use some kind of translucent powder maybe use a talcum powder if you have a home johnson's baby or yardley or whatever other powder you have lying at home just apply it wherever you want to get rid of the hair don't use this on your eyebrows because um, it will like really remove chunks of hair and that will be your big problem so 
stick to tweezing and threading for eyebrows but this you can use on your peach fuzz area you can use it on your upper lip if you have any kind of chin hairs or um, maybe forehead hair again be very careful in this area because your eyebrows are there you don't want to damage those so what you're going to do is first um, tie up your hair because this really pulls hair I mean uh, when I'm done it on the side my some of my hair like, got stuck and then it's a big task you know removing it untangling it from this so I'm just going to show you quickly so if you can see this side I do have some peach fuzz right here and um, it's actually not a lot because I've tried this I wanted to make sure it's a viable product before doing a video so um, right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing put it here and I'm gonna push it upwards right I'm gonna push it upwards at the same time you're gonna move this you're gonna move it round and you're gonna push it up so it's a simultaneous movement you're gonna do and pull and pull So I realized uh, when I tried it the first time, I was in a hurry and I kind of tried it really quickly and what ended up happening is the entire area became really red because I have really sensitive skin. But if you use enough powder and you know you make sure the area is dry and clean, you won't have that problem at all. It's not exactly that painful, not as painful as threading for sure. I feel it's a lot less painful than that. But of course, it is painful because any kind of hair removal method does hurt. There's just no escaping that. But I don't know if you guys can see the hair stuck to this. But it definitely is there. Let me try. Okay. When I compare this to threading, I think this is like an excellent, excellent method of removing. Right on your face at least and um, the only con I feel is it's a bit time consuming at least initially when you don't really know how to use it you know like starting off um, it's a bit complicated to use but once you get the hang of it it'll be quick you can just sit wherever and chill watch a movie and do it but again it does take some time and uh, other than that I think uh, just don't do it around the time when you're skin is especially sensitive I think that's mostly like when you're getting closer to your time of the month don't do it then because uh, the skin actually gets extremely sensitive and it'll hurt you even more so avoid that and um, other than that I think this is an excellent product it's definitely definitely value for money I mean at 310 rupees it's just tiny and you can just travel with it wherever you go use it whenever you want and plus your hair doesn't come back so about one to two months and you know when it's this clean your whole face it's like a perfect canvas for makeup and that's pretty much the reason i do it so don't do it because you feel like you should be completely hairless all over nobody is like that you don't have to be like that do it if you really feel like you want to somehow enhance the way your makeup looks the way your pictures look and only do it if you want to do it not because you feel someone else is doing it or the whole world is doing it so you should do it it should really come down to your own personal choice so yeah if you want to buy this again it's called the new women hair removing uh, epilator epi stick and you can find a number of different brands selling this on amazon ebay wherever you look so it's pretty much the same product you just want to make sure that it's big enough for you to hold so you know it doesn't slip off and that you know it's easier for you to pull out the hair if you're generally just not used to waxing or threading or any other kind of hair removal technique then uh, you know if you find it too painful for you generally anything else then maybe stay away from this and maybe stick to bleaching or something or don't do anything at all if you don't have this bleach first problem I just got it because I'm a little sick of having to bleach every now and then so yeah that's about it so i hope you guys like this review if you did then don't forget to like share subscribe and do comment below letting me know what you thought of this and uh, if there are any other products that you'd like me to review 
please please do let me know and um, i will be back next week so until next time